Hi, my name is Beatrice Gaviria, and I work for Children's Home Society for the past 16 years in different roles through the agency. I was the supervisor at the shelter for three years, family builders, uh, teen pregnancy prevention, the registration, and the last six years I have been the supervisor of the mentoring programs. At this moment we have three mentoring programs. The MARA program, that is for children with incarcerated parents, we have about 140 matches going at this point. We have the teen, pre the teen um, mentoring for children, kids that are a teenagers' mothers and fathers who participate too. Over there we have 14 matches going. And then we have the foster care. The foster care is divided in two. The ones that are 16 and a half to 18, those are kids that are living in the system and they need that support when they are ready to go. Because a lot of those kids um, were ending in prostitution, homeless. So with the help of the mentor, we are hoping that we're going to get them involved, continue with school, and everything else that they need to become productive, productive uh, members of society. Now, the other part of that program is for foster kids that are about 13 years old, 12 years old, to 16 and a half, that we're going to start providing that mentor, that person that is going to be constant in their lives. Because sometimes the foster kids move from one place to another, but at least if they can be with this person, with this mentor, it's going to be a constant in their life. So we are trying with that, give them some stability um, at the end. So they're getting ready for when they have to go into independent living. Mm -hmm. um, what can I tell you? The agency um, has many programs at this point. We have about 18 programs in the, in the agency. The agency um, has a great adoption program. We were the first in the state to have it. And um, this past year we did about 170 adoptions. We are, I think we were the highest in the whole agency because we are 14 divisions. We are South Coastal divisions that key here in the, in the south part of the, of the state. What are some of the biggest challenges that you come up with on a daily basis? Finding mentors. Unbelievable about finding mentors. Male mentors are sometimes have short numbers that come about. And I don't know by the grace of who, by the grace of God, that we have been able to accommodate all these kids. And we have uh, a good group of mentors for that, but this year is especially challenging in the um, children for incarcerated parents. We're going to need to do a quite number of matches because we are looking at funding and um, we need to do a good number for be ready for next year. But when funding comes out because we want to continue in the, uh, in the project, it's, it has been satisfaction. We see the change in the kids. We see, you saw it today, how they participate with the mentors. It's amazing. The mentors come to stuff that we invite them with the kids. And, and we all try to have a good time and show them another side of life. Um, always kind of be for them. We, we show a little soft side and how they can be, their life can be different. Great. Now, how can potential mentors uh, understand more about the program and, and, and to put their names in the hat, so to speak? Okay. Um, they can call our main number. 561-868-4300 and ask for the mentoring department and they're going to transfer them to us and then we'll explain to them um, what the mentoring is all about. We're just asking for one hour a week and just to be with the mentee. We know that a lot of the mentors stay with the mentees more than one hour. Mm -hmm. It is usually an hour. By the time you leave your house, pick up your mentor, go to the library, go to a movie, go to the park, it's going to be more than an hour. But we're asking only for one hour a week and for a year. The commitment is for a year. In some of the programs, we have a program, the commitment is for two years, especially with the older kids. But um, basically, they have to do an interview, but uh, we're going to check their background because the mentoring programs is out in the community. That means that the mentors are going to be able to take the kids out. And we want to make sure that everybody is just safe, that the kids are going to be safe when we give it to them, to an adult, to spend some time with them. But if anybody is out there that want to become a mentor, please call us. We are in a big need of mentors, especially this year. The kids are waiting. Right now we should have about 23 kids waiting in the model program and that we have not been able to match because we don't have the mentors. So please come and call us. Also, what is the website where people can look at more information? You can www.chsfl.org. CHS is Children's Home Society. FL.org. Great. Well, thanks for inviting the Hope Bus Tour in today and appreciate all the things that you do. 
Oh, we are so grateful. We're so thrilled when you guys come in. And when we heard that we, the agency, had one in the world, I said, yeah, they need to come and see what we do. And we're very happy to have, have you guys allow us to participate in your program. Thank you. We thank you.